We begin on the Isle of Black Reef, located within the Polar Sea, which was originally a small fishing settlement, and later, in the 1930s, a military base where a research expedition known as Operation Horizon conducted experiments on a localized temporal anomaly. Now in the 1960s, Black Reef is owned by the Eon Program, an organization founded with the goals of advancing human potential, preserving society's brightest minds, and researching the anomaly. Its origins, effects, and exploitability, as well as creating a highly independent, time-looped environment, essentially immortalizing Eon's followers, called Eternalists, for both unrestricted business and pleasure, on an isolated island far from the mainland. Eon's leadership consists of nine individuals, known as the Visionaries. Colt Vaughn, former head of security, Juliana Blake, archivist and current head of security, Igor Serling, founder and self-proclaimed pseudoscientist, Dr. Wenji Evans, primary loop architect and chief scientist, Harriet Morse, wellness author, human resource manager, and eternalist cult leader, Ramblin' Frank Spicer, legendary musician, host of Black Reef's only radio show and recruiter, Charlie Montague, chief systems administrator and head of entertainment, Fia Zuborowska, chief provisioner and art director, and Alexis the Wolf Dorsey, hard-partying chief financial backer. Preparations are made for the start of the loop, dubbed the first day, as the loop will continue to reset to this moment in time, reverting Black Reef, along with everyone and everything on it, to the state they were in at the beginning of this day, retaining only their memories, allowing them to repeat the day in different ways. As part of setting up for this, Wenji Harness Residuum, the energy produced by the anomaly, to create slabs, or metallic objects that grant powerful abilities to their users by manipulating the anomaly, and gave them to seven of the visionaries. Ether, providing near invisibility to Igor, Havoc, augmenting offensive and defensive capabilities to Fia, Carnesis, capable of hurling people through the air to Alexis, Masquerade, swapping the user's appearance with that of another person to Juliana, Nexus, linking multiple targets for shared damage to Harriet, Reprise, rewinding time by a small amount upon death to Colt, and Shift, allowing for short-range teleportation to Charlie. Much less powerful versions of the slabs, called trinkets, granting minor abilities to their users, were created and distributed to the Eternalists. Wenji also repurposed the Stabilizer, a giant structure at the center of Black Reef that powers the loop, and used it to imbue the Visionaries with Residuum, linking their life forces to the loop, so that it can only be broken if all nine die within the loop in the same day before it resets. Colt awakens suddenly, hung over on a beach, with no memory of who or where he is. He receives guidance via messages and encounters with versions of himself from alternate timelines, instructing him to break the loop he's trapped in and leading him to his nearby hideout. Inside, he discovers and reviews past notes he made regarding the visionaries, their locations, characteristics, and slabs. He also acquires a trinket, his reprise slab, and the hackamajig, a device he created that serves for both communication and remote hacking. As Colt slowly begins to remember the situation, he realizes that only Juliana and himself retain their memories from loop to loop, while everyone else is unknowingly trapped in what they believe to be only the first loop, and have been for many years, repeating their exact same routines every day, altered only by Colt and Juliana's actions, leading to his desire to break the loop in order to set everyone free. Colt is taunted and hunted by Juliana and alternate timeline versions of her, all of whose opposing goal is to protect the loop by protecting the visionaries, using lethal force to prevent Colt from breaking it each day, as she wants everything to remain the way it is. Because Juliana awakens earlier than Colt does every morning, she's able to make an island-wide announcement at the start of each loop, warning all other visionaries and eternalists about Colt, and ordering them to help her eliminate him, causing everyone to be extremely hostile towards him. Colt recalls that he needs to kill all the visionaries in one day to break the loop, which is made more difficult due to Juliana's warning, as they are able to prepare for him, protected by Eternalists and armed with their slabs and weaponry. Colt begins to form his plan by locating the Loop Preservation Protocol, or LPP, an assessment document he created prior to the start of the loop in order to protect it when he was still the head of security. The LPP identifies points of weakness for each visionary, detailing the times, locations, and activities where they're most vulnerable, and specifying a protocol of avoiding contact with each other, while directing Eternalists to their locations in the case of a security breach. An alternate cult briefly appears from another timeline, advising him to go to Wenji's lab to relearn about residuum energy, where he rediscovers that Wenji also has alternate timeline versions, and that they're all working on experiments together. After killing all the Wenjis, Colt is able to utilize her lab equipment to undergo the process of infusion, which allows him to absorb residuum from objects and dead visionaries and imbue it into weapons, slabs, and trinkets so that they remain with him from loop to loop, allowing him to start each loop with them still in his possession without having to spend time reacquiring them each day. Now with both the LPP and infusion, Colt begins fleshing out his plan by killing the visionaries at their identified locations, absorbing their residuum, infusing their slabs, and gathering additional information regarding their routines along the way in each loop to perfect his approaches. 
However, Juliana, being the only other visionary to retain her memories from loop to loop, is no longer present at the location identified in the LPP, and has instead moved to the most secure location on Black Reef, the Stabilizer Core, and controls the only conventional means of accessing it. As such, the only way for Colt to reach the core is to use an abandoned Raketaplan, or rocket plane, left behind by the military in a facility called the Rock, and so he begins investigating all of the old military bunkers throughout the island to gain the access codes to it. While searching the bunkers, he relearns that he was one of the members of the Horizon Expedition from decades earlier, when he flew a prototype Raketaplan into the anomaly as part of an experiment, which failed, leading to his disappearance into a loop for several years while being presumed dead, the almost complete disappearance of the anomaly, and subsequent military abandonment of both the operation and Black Reef before he re-emerged and joined Eon. Colt also rediscovers that prior to his disappearance, he impregnated his lover, also a member of Horizon, a scientist named Lila Blake, who gave birth to Juliana while he was missing and died of a rare disease before he reappeared. Colt obtains the Raketa Plan codes, and Juliana confirms that she is his daughter. With all the pieces of the plan in place, Colt sets it in motion the next day. In the morning, at Carl's Bay, Colt kills Harriet while she's giving a sermon to a group of fanatic eternalists, before sabotaging Frank's fireworks to explode when he sets them off in the evening. At noon, in the complex, Colt tampers with Igor's experiment, so he isn't distracted by it and will attend Alexis's party in the evening. In a previous loop, Colt obtained and manipulated a voice recording of Alexis to fabricate an invitation to entice Wenji to also attend his party in the evening in exchange for access to the rack, which he's very eager to explore. During the afternoon, at Freestood Rock, Colt infiltrates the pumping station by inputting Fia's pictogram code, obtained in a previous loop, into Charlie's door locking machine, as the two lovers use the facility to meet up in private, and kills them both. The evening in Updom begins with Frank's explosive death at the start of his fireworks show, before Colt crashes Alexis' party at Dorsey Manor, killing Wenji, Igor, and Alexis, and then heading into the rack. Once there, Colt manages to activate and launch the Raketaplan, which carries him out of the rack and crashing into the stabilizer core, where he confronts Juliana directly. Colt then has the choice of sparing Juliana in order to team up and fully explore the possibilities of the loop together, killing Juliana but not himself to allow the loop to reset again, as he has done repeatedly in the past at this point, or killing both Juliana and himself in order to finally break the loop. Colt decides to break the loop, by shooting Juliana in the head, and then jumping to his death. Afterward, he wakes up back on the beach, but this time with a ruined sky, dried up ocean, and Juliana holding him at gunpoint. She decides to spare him, lowers her gun, and disappears, leaving him to face the uncertain future alone. 